this year is about davening Ma'asad Lavai. And we'll focus primarily on whether or not there'll be obligation to daven when Mashiach comes and what exactly it would be. Uh, I just realized, I just want to point out as Gokha Pratis, I realized I was doing the sources, all of a sudden I realized that there's a piece of Kudatariya that discusses it in the very beginning of this week's parsha. There's a piece of Kudatariya that discusses and explains the Chiyachsudas, this idea. So anyways, the question arises from, first of all, what's the reason why davening was established? So let's see in source number one. It's the Gemara Masechus Brachas, Daf Chavav, Amin Beis. It man Rabbi Yosi ben Rabbi Chanina Amar. Rabbi Yosi, the son of Rabbi Chanina, said, "Tfilos always tikkun. The tfilos, all the different davening, were established by the obvious were established by our forefathers of Ram Yitzchak and Yaakov." Rabbi Shua ben Levi Amar, tfilos kineged kemidim tikkun that the prayers, the davening Shachos and Chamayiv were established corresponding to the carbon tummy. The carbon tamid is a sacrifice that was bought in the Beis Hamikdash every single day, two times a day in the morning and in the afternoon. We'll be mentioning it a lot, so I want to explain what carbon tamid means. Now, so you have two reasons, either because of Tfilas Kineged. Um, the obvious were established by the obvious or connected to me. Now let's see first the source number two and three in the later poskim. How we accept the Rambam and Hilchus Tefillah Perek Aleph Alochahi. The Chayim Tiknu Sheyahet Minyan Hatfilos Keminyan Hakabonis, and they also established that the number, the amount of prayers, the amount of davening should be the same amount as, as the kabonis. State Tefillas Bechol Yom. Two prayers, two davening. In other words, two main davenings every day. Kinegich neitim midim, corresponding to the two carbon tumits. V'chol yoyim sheyesh carbon musif. Thank you. V'chol yoyim sheyesh carbon musif. And every day that has a carbon mukness, carbon musif, tiknu by tefillah shlishes kineged carbon musif. Meaning like this, in Shabbos and Yontif, in addition to the study, to the carbon tumit, to the study carbonus of the morning and the afternoon, there was a third carbon, known as a carbon musif, which came special on each Shabbos and Yom Tov. So, so on days that they brought a carbon musaf, they would bring a third, we, we added a, also in that. The tefillah, she can negate Tom and Shalbok, Shalbokir, and the, the davening that is corresponding to the morning davening, Hinnikas Tefillah Shashachar, is called Tefillah Shashachar. The tefillah, she can negate Tom and Shalbokir, and that's Tefillah Shmith. The tefillah, she can negate Tom and Shalbokir, Hinnikas Tefillah Shmith. Then the additional prayer is called Tefillah of Musa. Now there's a reason why we'll see later, we'll get back to different expressions of the Rambam. But in general, we see the idea that the Rambam Paskins also, that the Tefillah, the davening was established in Nagatomi. Now let's see it out Rebbe and Shulchanan of also, source number three. The Tefillah, he bemokim karbon. The tefillah is in the place of a carbon. Then the Rebbe goes on to explain that's why you have to treat it with respect. Another interesting halacha that the Rebbe mentions here, that because it's such a special thing, really you should have a special nice garment for davening. But we do not obligate people to spend so much money in it. It's just an interesting thing. But then regarding our main point, is we pass in the tefillahs, the connected carbonus, the tefillah was established for the carbon. So now, here comes our question. If the tefillahs seemingly, what means we mock in carbonus? What means connected to me? What would be the simple understanding? Is like this. We have obligation, one of the tayag mitzvahs, or actually two or three of the tayag mitzvahs, is to bring an offering in carbon tamid. Tamid shal shachar, tamid shal ben abayim, to bring an offering. When we have a base mikdash, then we bring the carbon. In the time of Golos, that we don't have a base of Mikdash, then we replace it with Davening. That would be the simple understanding of this. So if that's the case, it comes the obvious question, what will be when Mashiach comes? When Mashiach comes, 
we'll should be soon. You have a very simple. In, in one hand, you could argue. Now we're bringing the carbon musaf, the carbon, the carbon tamid, and the carbon musaf. There's no need to replace it with davening, being that we have the carbon itself. We don't need to have the replacement of davening. On the other hand, if you say that Tfilis is Ovis Tikna, that Tfilis was established by the Ovis, so seemingly it's not connected to Karbanis at all, so that's the case, then we should bring the carbon, then, then, then we should daven even when Sheikh comes. So now, really, this same question. It's not the first time it's relevant before Mashiach comes. This very question is in the times of the, of the first Beis HaMikdash and the second Beis HaMikdash, whether or not they dove in them. So based on that, you go back to the sources, we could figure out whether or not we will dive in when Mashiach comes. Before we continue to get into this, I just want to point out a, a, a very simple question. Open up a, If you open up a Siddur, you see, let's say we let, so, so. So let me let me ask a question. Let's say when Mashiach comes, we will die, right? Let's say when the time of Beis Hamikdash they die. Shmini Esher, the first three brachas says praise of Hashem. Ata Choyne, Shivenu, fine. Then the many brachas, the bracha of Reino Vanyenu, Ugaleinu Mehira Man Shemach and redeem us, bring the Geula very soon. You conclude God of Israel. Another bracha is Tekab Shafer Godel. You should sound the big Shafer again. We're asking Hashem to bring Mashiach. Alat uh, Sadikim. No, sorry. Lamal Shinim. It's also very much connected to Mashiach. Malchus Sadisha made us Akir to have the kingdom of Hashem. Shiv Shiftain was also connected. So that's already maybe you could give a different explanation. But the point being, most of the brachas and shmanasra, at least the ones that are request, more than the, than the basic majority, ruba call them in Russian Kaddish, ruba the ruba of the brachas are talking about Mashiach. So how could you say these brachas won't make any sense when Mashiach comes? We're in Yushalayim with Mashiach. We have Mashiach. So on this source, turn to your second page. This is brought in the top of, of the page from a Sefer, Rimoisa Mashiach Balacha by Rabbi Galitsky. So he brings a few different things in this. So he in the Yedua, Madi Isa B'Medrish, Yal Kashamani, it's known what it says in the Medrish, call it Fulas B'Tela, Lost Love by Da in a B'Tela. All the prayers will be bottled, be nullified. <coughs> But Haida, the praise will not be nullified. Meaning like this, Shemini Esher consists of of nine of total of nineteen brachas. You have three brachas in the beginning of the praise of Hashem, three two brach, uh, three brachas in the end, also of the praise of Hashem. So you're left with thirteen brachas of 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 Bakasha Shachar asking him So we're saying the brachas of praise will continue. So it's explained the Yeshleimah Hashem Pidush Bazeh. It explains that the Asid Lava should tear her to Mush Pass Harbe. The Asid Lava, when, when there will be a, a abundance of good, all the blessings will be there in abundance. So, Tvilash when Esri Lo Yiyeh Bederech Bakashish Tzrocha, Ella Bederech Haida, the Brachas will not be in a way of asking request, it will be in a praise. Let's skip to the next to the next column where you see again it's underlined. Yeah, shinui shinui benusach shalahem b'sman agol v'atchia. Kimoi ushvoi oil agoyim, as it says, you should break the yoke of the nations from from upon us. Noima will replace it with noide lecha al shevarta oil agoyim. We will praise you on the fact that you broke you you broke the yoke of the goyim. And you will lead us and you let us to our land. And similarly, we praise to you, Hashem. We praise to you, Hashem. Everything will be in a past tense, in a way of brachas. Meaning, instead of saying all these brachas 
that for years and years we're saying now as a bakash, as a request to Hashem to bring Mashiach, we'll finally say we thank you Hashem for replacing us with Mashiach. And he goes on to explain without getting into it, he brings proofs that are also in the times of the Beis Amikdash, which again is questionable of the Davin, but we'll get to the conclusion later, also was also in a way of 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 of, in, of then it was to continue on the strength of Yushalayim, to continue on the strength of the Jewish kingdom, and so on and so forth. That it was then it, then it was a little bit different. Massive thanks, more of just please Hashem keep it going. So you see, so that just explains how it's relevant. The davening obviously it has to be a little bit different. So back to our original question. You know, just a side point, you see when you see when the is about Mashiach, if anyone ever asks why we're so obsessed with Mashiach, it says, you know, why, you could answer back, why do you have Kiddush in mind with Davin? You, you have in mind every day that has three quarters of Davin in this, it's about Mashiach. Now, so, there's an interesting question in Chido, which he discusses, he discusses mainly in his Man Beis Hamikdash, the Chida and the Sefer Machzik Bracha. He has one of the the Chidas that says for him every Sefer and every topic is a different name of the Sefer, but it's really one. So it's a Sefer called Machzik Bracha. So he asks the question. He brings a question that we have here in source number four. I couldn't find the the, the text of the Machzik Bracha, so he brings it from the Night of Yehuda. The Night of Yehuda asks the question: Mashin Badak Lon. Why, when it comes to Shabbos Musaf, all of a sudden, a big part of the dav of the Musaf, and this is not only Shabbos Musaf, any Musaf, Yom the Musaf also, is that is is the, the psukim of Karbanos. But the parshas of Tomid, which is every single day, we don't say by not on weekday, not on Shabbos either. We don't say the psukim of the karbonas, the parshas tov. <coughs> Why by karbon musa, especially if we're saying that tefillahs can negate to me in tikkun, that tefillahs are established to corresp- um, 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 because of the karbonas. So why don't we say the psukim of the karbonas? Say it in karbonas. We say it in karbonas, but uh, first of all, karbonas is not the same level of chiyuv. Also, when asked, why if the whole musa, if you think about it, the musa, basically the main part of the additional musa is because this is the psukim. You look in Yantim Musaf, every day is a little different. <clears throat> so he proves from this a very strong point, which is which is very relevant to our question. He proves from this that the main part of Davening, the main reason for Davening is because there's a mitzvah in the Torah, according to some Yishayim, it's Minah Torah, according to some Yishayim, it's the Banan. But the concept is, to serve Hashem. How do we serve Hashem? With avoid, how do you serve Hashem? What is Avoid the Shabbalev? It's davening. And the way to fulfill this mitzvah is through davening. So, yes, later when they established it, it's corresponding, it fits the order and when to daven and so on, that's connected to carbon to midin. But really, the main thing is because of Abdu Masavala Kechem. And it brings a very nice proof from Gemara, Sukkah, Dafnum, Gimel, and Aleph, source number five, which many of us know it from. Simchus be Sheva. Amar Rabbi Shua ben Chananya, Rabbi Shua ben Chananya said, "Kishayinu smechim b'simchas hasbeis Sheva." When we were celebrating, when we were joined in the joy of the Beis Sheva, loyreinu shino beineinu. We did not see any sleep in our eyes, meaning we did not sleep for the entire seven days of Sukkot. Keitzah. He explained, Shari Shaina, the first hour of the day is Tamil Shashacha. Was the carbon Tamil. So they brought the carbon Tamil. Misham. Litvila. From there, you went to Davening Shachas. So you see the Davening. Let's finish the Gemara. Misham the carbon Musif. Then after Davening, so the first hour of the day was the carbon. Then they Davened. Misham the carbon Musif. Then they went right to the carbon Musif. Misham Litvila Samusafin. From there to davening Musaf. So you see again, they davened all the Tfilas. Misham libeis ha-medrish. 
Now, what are you going to do with the rest of the day? From there, they went to learn. Misham, Mechida, Vishtia, from there to eating a little bit. Misham, the Tvila Samincha, then the Tvila Samincha. Misham, the Tamil Shabbat and you see again the Dabin, and then they brought the card in Tamil Shabbat and Bayim. And right after the card in Shabbat and Bayim, we come by Ilach, the Simchas, Beis Hashayva, then they went on for the Simchas Hashayva, which went the whole night. So, when I asked, Aini, is it indeed so? Just to finish up the Gemara, I'm going to be Yechlin, Yechlin, and says, Shwa, Shalak, Ishn, Shlesh, Yamim. Malkin, I say, if a person makes a swore that he won't sleep for three days, he gets lashed. Why? Right away. Because it's impossible. It's impossible for something to keep. So how can you say that you're up for eight days? And the Lachik Amr, the Amnu Tamri Shina, we didn't taste the sleep, the taste of sleep, to have a Menamni Akasra, the Adadi, we would fall asleep on each other's shoulders during the dancing. Meaning in the Bismarck, when they learned it was perfect, they were awake. But they fell asleep in the middle of dancing. Um, and the Rebbe many times brought this by the Sikhs of Sikhs Beshevo, and the Rebbe demanded this from Chassidim to a whole day to learn, to do Kinestratus, to go on with time all day, and at night to sit in for brain and dance for Sikhs Beshevo. But in any case, what do you see here very clearly? The Chidon argues, you see here clearly that even in the time when there is Karbanas, they, they do it. Wow. So, so, he, so that's why again he concludes. That they were Davin in these times. And it, it happens to be in the Golos, it's a side benefit. Because you don't have Kambanas, it's also because it's also in the time of, it happens to be in the time of Kambanas, it also replaces that part. Now, so this is all, so based on this, regarding our question, Based on the Chidah's way of learning, it's very clear, it's very clear, I mean, not very clear, it's, it, seem, it seems there's no reason to say that we shouldn't dive in Mashiach comes. But now let's focus, so, and, and this seems to be the conclusion that we would have in Mashiach comes. But, the, but now there's still another question regarding Musaf. Why is Musaf different? Again, what is different than Musaf? So we mentioned earlier already. What's different than Musaf is because Musaf, the content of Musaf is all about the Kabbalah. Let's see, well, let's see a taste of some sentence. Let's see a taste of some The Gemara over there is discussing the halachas of Hashlamas of David. There's many halachas, complicated halachas, but there's a whole set of halachas and it has a relevance. If someone forgets to Davin, Shachris. Or was an honest, was in a situation he couldn't Davin Shachris. The halacha is that under certain circumstances he could Davin Mincha twice. If he forgets to Davin Mincha, under certain circumstances he could Davin Mincha twice. And what's interesting about these halachas is that even when it's from weekday to Shabbos and Shabbos to weekday, which we'll focus on in, in, in later. So Taisus is at this bracha says like this. So that's what the Gemara is, 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 is discussing. So Taisus in source number six, Loi boy, we're not asking a question in Tavle is followed to listen to We're not asking a question if someone made a mistake and they're not Davin Musaf. The Havadai Elim is spelled by Arvis. He definitely cannot dive in Musaf and Arvis in Banai. The Heich Yikra Sakarbonus. How could we read the Kabonus? We find over this man Musaf. The Allah is by Kabonus, but by Kabonus there was no such thing as a Shlomus. So if you didn't bring a carbon, the Allah is a famous line over his man, I bought the Kabon. The time passed, the carbon goes over. Musaf has, has to be brought before. Before an hour after Chatzais, before the seventh hour, and once that time passes, he can't talk. It makes no sense to say the pesukim later. The gam loy tiknu sheva brachos of Musaf, and they didn't establish either the other the seven brachos of Musaf, right? Because the seven brachos in the weekdays we have Shemana Esrei, eighteen brachos, which is really nineteen brachos because they added the lamashinim. On Shabbos it's all seven brachos, right? So. They didn't establish the seven brachas 
So someone could say, you know what, I'll skip the Pesukim. But Elam is Shumun of Al Nushalma Param Sifasain was only because the Pasuk of Nushalma Param Sifasain, which is brought a lot for Davin, meaning will complete, it will pay the Potter, the accent, the Kabanas with Sifasain with our lips. That will replace the Kabanas with our lips. And regarding this for sure, once it's time passed, the carbon is bottled. So meaning, because this entire Musaf is just for carbonus, you can't replace it. Avol, Shar Tfilis, but regarding other Tfilis, the Rachmininu, that it's all about asking for Rachm, asking for mercy. And the famous line, Halavai, she is Talad and Kaliyam Kulak, and Halavai person to dive in all day long. The ink and other's money, and that's why you don't have the concept of over his mind if it's past time past with another davening, which we'll get back to later explain this last time. But the point that the point that the the the, 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 the is saying here is musif is not something that you could replace because the entire idea of musif is the fact that it is in place of the carbonus. And an interesting halacha actually comes out from this. An interesting halacha comes out from this. It's a machlekes actually, and I'm not going. I'm 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 not saying this halacha. I'm just saying the the concept of it is that the tzlach, which is also say for written by the Nebi Yudah, says from this you see that women are not obligated in in Musaf. Why is that? Halacha is like. Normally, there's a rule that women, Nashim Peturis, Mimitis, Asesias, Mangram, women are exempt from any time bound mitzvah. Any mitzvah that is constricted to time, they're not obligated. We're learning out from Sukkim, we're not getting into that. So, based on that, really, they should not be obligated in davening. However, it says being the davening is just asking for Rachmim, asking for, um, for mercy from Hashem. So then, they are obligated because they also need the brachas, right? So the Tzach says, from this you see, from this text you see that when it comes to Musif, it goes back, falls back under the, the te- category of Mitzvah Seishos Man Grammar. And Tzach says very clear that it's not Tfilas Rachmim. So that's why Nashim should be potter, women should be potter. There are those that argue, and and it's a lot of discussion and back and forth in Alacha, but the concept is clear. The concept is that you see that Musaf is unique. And we see the Allah on source number seven, not ever passing like this in the Shulchan Aruch. Over Kalayyim, the Lays Palin Musaf, Eilat Tashlumen. If a person passes through the day and did not have a Musaf, he has no way to make it up. So, hey, he crack our bonus. How could he read Kabanus? Big fat over his man Musaf. And not ever quotes this Lashlum again, which we won't go over, but it basically you see the Allah and we pass him. You know, the Musaf is again. So, if that's the case, how. Come when it comes to Musif. How come when it comes to Musif do we indeed say do we indeed um um um, um say that we will say it again when Mashiach comes? So there's an interesting answer that explains its follows. The safe recall the I forgot the name of the safe. How did I get it? And how did you get him asked the kids? He says that really, if you think about it, if you think about it, what do you mean that Tfidla is not a time of Rachel? But that Musa is not a time of Rachel? He brings two Gemaras that say in the contrary that Tfidla is the best time to dive. It says, the question is why on Shemini Yatzenes, when we start asking for Geshem, we say the Tzvila's Geshem, when do we say it? By which Tzvila? By Musaf. Why? The Mender says, She'ein da'ite shal odom mis yashevas ella be Musaf. A person's mind is not settled by Musaf. And in a different 
And another thing that we do especially in Musaf is Kiya Shafir and Rosh is doing Musaf because Musaf is a very special time. Musaf is the time when a person has a clear mind. I think with Pashas it means Pashas you already through the Avaidah of Davin and, and you're on a higher level. But also, because of this reason itself, because of what Taisa says that Musaf is different, because Musaf is not just deciding that it happens to be also a carbon. Musaf is a man of carbon. Musaf is like bringing a carbon. Musaf is the whole concept of Musaf is like bringing a carbon. So, on the contrary, that's a reason to say that it's more of an Isra thing, that it's more a special time, more time for asking Rachman. So, what starts to say that it's not a time of Rachman? So, it says very, very simple. Musaf is a very special time, is a time of that you could be part of great things. And, and, and it's a great Isra thing. Taisa is only saying, the end of the day, the content of the psukim is all about psukim of, of, of Musaf. It's all about words of saying the carbon of Musaf that you can't do at night because it's the wrong time. It's like a joke. On the other hand, when you're davening, let's say, let's say weak Shrinas especially, you're, you're davening the Enav and Yeno asking Hashem to bring the Geulah Shlem, right? Does that make a difference if it's 9 o'clock in the morning or, or is it less relevant if it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon or 9 o'clock in the morning? That's not, that's not really the time constructed. Yes, the Takanas Chazal is the davening should be in the times of Karbanas. And yes, it, it should be fitting to that. But the words that I'm saying make total, make a lot of sense to say later in the day. Make a lot of sense to say the next day, the next week. Because it's all about asking for brachas. On the other hand, when it comes to this special Musaf davening, with Musaf davening, the words are all about the actual carbon. That doesn't make sense to say later. So that's what, so that answers our question, how come does it seem, do we see clearly in Gemara Sukkah that in the time of the Beis of Mingdash, they did, they did say, they did um, 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 Davin Musif, and why it seems that when Mashiach comes, we will Davin Musif, it's because very simple, Musif is a special time, Musif is relevant always, the, the, the word does, don't make sense to say past this month. Now, there's one more sorry, there's one more explanation, which I'll say very briefly. There's a Gemara in Brachas that says that there was Shishtai, on a branch that says, Shimon Hapikuli, name of a Tana, name of a Tzadik, his Tishman Esri Brachas of Nei Gavriel, I'll say the Biyal, that he organized the Brachas of Shimon in front of him there. So the mother asks, you see that that comes from earlier sources, it comes from the Nevi'im, comes from Ashik, comes from Dela. What do we say? So the mother says that it was forgotten and he reminded them. And he reminded them. So there's a the mother that says, there's a few verses actually, the mother says, that Shikha forgetting is not relevant to something that you should do every day. Which is a very logical thing. If you say Shemun Esther every day, what I forgot, what type of thing is that? It's something that you, that, 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 that you say in very, it breaks the Chamo, it could be something that you forget. Shemun Esther, you can forget. So there are those that want to bring an eye from here that in the time of the Bessam English, they didn't say it. So that's why they used to say it, but then they stopped when, by the second Bessam English, and after the Chorban, they started again. But there's different answers in that are arguments in that I just wanted to bring the other to, to actually one more point which is more of a, a, a gishmaka inyan the others that say that this that it says in the Mara Sukkah that we saw that they, they, they did daven that was unique to Bayush Shein meaning like this you see in the Psukim you see in the Gemaras that even during the times of the Beisim Ingdash they knew that there's going to be a court they knew that it's not the Gulbush thing. So then they didn't want to forget the davening. In other words, they knew that, uh, that, that the day will come that they'll need a daven. So they kept on davening throughout the time of the Beis HaMikdash. For those that want to argue that the Beis HaMikdash or Shlisha will come, take it from Yad, that will be a Gulbush Lema. So then you don't have that Svar. But that's just one Svar, but it seems overall, you could say that seemingly most of the sources seem to be saying that we will dive when Mashiach comes. And the only thing is, there are those that say that it won't be. 
Is that and, and, and what, what, what you have to say but is what seemingly has to be that it will be a little bit different in words does that make sense but there are those that say that it will be completely different it will go back to the way it was originally that everyone that they weren't constricted time from David everyone David when they were up to it which obviously nowadays won't really work right because the way to walk to but when Mashiach comes will be on a much higher level we'll be able to go back to that but now we'll, we'll go to the Kutatayr in source number 8 after having the Kutatayr in this week's parasha explains why Baruch means why is it really that we don't want have one as a Baisim English even if practically do that what's the concept source number 8 of Zay Yuvan this will be understood why the Tfilah was established in the time of the Churban in the time that the Besam English was standing the, the there wasn't the ability in the Klippus and Sitka Achat to connect to the person so much and the, 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 the all the um, activists of evil were separate. In the time that there is a ruling of the Klippus and the Kibberis, the Yetzir Benefesh Abamis, the strength of the Yetzir Hara and the animalistic soul. We have to separate it through davening. Why do you have to daven again every day? Because it's not a one-time uh, thing. Every day it can get strong. It was not the Rebbe saying here. Yeah? So the Rebbe always explains in Tanya and the Torah. We are going to says, what is davening about really? Davening is really about getting the nefesh of Bahamas not to interfere or getting the, actually embrace, getting the nefesh of Bahamas to serve Hashem. When is that relevant? Only in the time when the Nefesh of Bahamas is in a state where, na- where its natural state is not the surface. Where the Yezir Hara, the, the, the clippers are so strong that their natural state is not the, is, is not the surface. But in the time of the Beis Amigdash, when everyone was much more refined, when there's a greater revelation of the Likos, then it wasn't so important to Daven. Similar to what it says by Rabshim by Yechoi, the, says to Rasa Ibn Nasif, a person of, if, that his profession is tell is not Mukhoy to Daven, and seemingly he didn't Daven every day. Because when it's such a refined level that your entire being is expressing Hashem's presence in this world, then you don't have to Daven because you really you're on that level already. You achieved it without Davening. But we're in a situation now where we have to Daven. We have to Daven every single day because constantly the Yitzhahara is waking up, is fighting, and we have to fight the Yitzhahara. That's why in the, base, in the time of the Beis HaMikdash, and I, probably how much more so, when Mashiach comes, the, the importance of davening from Chassidus is not so important. So that's briefly an overview on this subject. Just one more point. One more point regarding the specifics of davening when Mashiach comes. This is the last page of the, our booklet. It's a Rishima from the Rebbe. The Rebbe concludes with a few different things that will be different when Mashiach comes. The Asad Lavoi, when Mashiach comes, Yehu Halavim Kahanim. The Levim will be Kahanim. The Kahanim Levim. The Kahanim will be the Levim. Allah will be like the Kahanim. As we see, in always, in, in right now we pass in the Chassil, and Sheikh comes, Allah will be like Mashiach. Now, regarding our, our thing, Tvila Shem Eshman Esr Bekoil Ram. The Eshman Esr Davening will be loud, meaning now we dive into ourselves always, Mashiach comes, we dive in Bekoil Ram. Now, what's the idea of this? So, What's, why do we daven belach? So why do we daven koyam? There's two reasons given for why we daven koyam. One reason is because of if someone davens, it says in the Gemara, if someone davens loud, 
is miktane amona. Or it's for those who have very little amona, meaning that it's like it's as if he doesn't believe that Hashem can hear him if he dies quietly. In other words, Hashem can hear you even if you dive into yourself. Hashem can hear you no, no matter how you dive, how you dive in. One second. Oh. Hashem can hear you no matter how you dive in, right? If you dive into yourself, even if you can't hear yourself, really, Hashem can hear you. So that's why if you're diving loud, it's as if Hashem can hear you without you diving loud. Hashem can hear you perfectly. Then, the, according to that reason, if you think about it, really that should be relevant even when Mashiach comes. But there's another reason given for it. Another reason is the person's diving to Hashem. If he has Averis, he wants to express his Averis, or at least he'll, by the parts of Dhamma talk about his Averis, will be with a more broken heart. So not to embarrass, not to humiliate those who have a video. So everyone says it quietly, like this. Everyone has opportunity to, to say whatever you want about anything there. So that reason, when Mashiach comes, when 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 uh, there will be no spirit of Tumah, when all, everything will be Kedusha, there will be no Avedis in the world. So that reason is unapplicable. But the other reason of Kitani and Munra seemingly is applicable. So there's different answers given to it, but maybe we can say an answer based on what we learned earlier. We learned earlier that when Mashiach comes, all the brachas of prayer, of, of bakashas rachmin, of request, will be transformed into praise. So now, the Gemara, when the Gemara says, that if someone says, it's in the Gemara site that we're learning these days, if, if, when someone says quietly, that when someone says diamond loud, is 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 miktane yamunot as if Hashem can can hear it. It seems very much as in the context of bakashas rachmin. You're asking Hashem, I need parnasa, so you're saying it loud because you're scared that Hashem can hear you. So then there's a chash like that. But on the other hand, if someone's saying praise of Hashem, praise of Hashem, there's really a, there's really a reason to say it loud because you're saying praise of Hashem. You want everyone to hear. That's less of a request, so that's why that could be a reason why you say Tefillah the Koyal Rav Mashiach. That's a really interesting thing, but a more a simple reason is given is also why is 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 in Ktani Amana? Because you could daven low, you could daven to yourself. But if everyone davens out loud, and that's the regular norm, so then the the the, the harshness of this goes away already because now we establish that we daven loud. So, so it, it's not so strong that you're davening loud. You're davening loud because that's Allah, not because of any other reason. Also, the pastors we add the Ramik Rebecha, when Mashiach comes, will be no bad. So, the, 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 no one will entertain the thought that you're Mekhtani Amara. Everyone knows that Munna Hashem's presence will be so strong. These little things, like, and davening loud, obviously Hashem can hear me. It's not even a question. Only in the time of the Hell Master do we have this issue. So maybe we'd be zeichet to find out very soon whether we're going to do a davening or not. But Mashiach is going to take it from Yad Mamash. Amen.